city of Vancouver uh, issued um, a challenge, I guess, more an initiative to, called the Green Capital Initiative. And their goal in that was to attract capital to Vancouver around green initiatives. And so what we did is we basically partnered with the city of Vancouver and then globalized the concept. So we formed the Green Capital Global Challenge and we launched it during uh, the Winter Games in Vancouver. Most cities that we deal with have done a sustainability report and have set um, emission reduction targets. Um, actually achieving those targets has been very challenging because the amount of capital needed in the time to market is significant. The Carbon Worm is Richard Branson's answer to climate change using business and, mar and markets to address climate change. The Green Capital Global Challenge is the built environment operation of the Carbon Worm. We have a network of cities that cities are welcome to apply on www.carbonworm.com and find the Green Capital Global Challenge. They can register with us and be a member of the network and then uh, available to participate in all of our summits, conferences, and we have these uh, deal day opportunities in which the cities work with us to match asset owners with vendor-based solutions for energy efficiency retrofits. So we encourage you to come visit the site and sign up for the challenge. PACE is a, is a system set up to allow people to finance retrofits on their home. Those are secured by an assessment on the house called the contractual assessment. They make improvements in the house. Those improvements save money. They lower energy consumption. Uh, the, the consequence of that is typically that the house values go up. We would expect them to go up. Uh, energy cost is lower and the systems in the house that have been improved are new systems. So. Uh, frequently that's a, a motivator for people to get this done. The most recent study on PACE found that for every one million dollars invested through PACE in retrofits, uh, four million dollars in tax revenue at all levels would be generated, ten million dollars in economic activity, and sixty jobs would be created. Companies that were trying to um, work in this space could be quite effective. However, they still uh, struggled with the various um, barriers. And so we would talk to one company and say, well, we have this issue of risk. And then we'd talk to another company and say, oh, well, we actually address risk. So we thought, well, why don't these companies actually work in partnership? And so what we did is we engineered a consortium. And we now call this the, the PACE Commercial Consortium. led by uh, Energi, which has the capital of Barclays. Lockheed Martin is the technology partner. Energi provides the insurance. They're backed by Hanover Re. That team, when they enter uh, the districts to go and put a district in place, are unstoppable because nobody in the market is coming with a full turnkey solution. If you think about a government's role in wanting to do this, they have to serve their constituents and the commons in the, in the greater good. They're not necessarily singularly focused on sales, marketing, business development, and business uh, processes and creating efficiency. The companies that are in this space, the Lockheed Martins, the Wygreens, the Energize, this is their business. This is their bread and butter. So they have a sole single focus to actually drive this thing into the market and generate revenues. That is going to be the single greatest driver to, for these cities to be able to achieve their carbon emissions targets. PACE Commercial Consortium offers us the opportunity to help drive the expansion of the commercial and industrial retrofit market so that we can work with uh, the owners of commercial and industrial buildings to do the same kind of work for them that we're currently doing for our federal government customers. We set up a program in the city uh, under the city auspices that enables people to borrow money secured by an assessment on their property to do retrofits and energy generation projects. So our program has really enabled contractors who otherwise wouldn't be providing guarantees in the space to essentially act as an ESCO. For example, Lockheed Martin really wouldn't be taking on the risk associated with a guarantee um, on the energy savings if it weren't for an insurance program like ours. Now that there's someone like us that has virtually unlimited funding from Barclays Bank and support from our from our partners in the consortium, uh, Lockheed, Energi, and Barclays, we, we uh, 
are now capable of doing really vast programs in the United States and, and maybe support some other programs throughout the world. $650 million deployed into those two communities is about a 40,000 person job creation. There's also a, a multiplier on the tax revenue generated within those communities that far exceeds the $650 million. So you're looking at over a billion of tax benefit for the communities, for the governments themselves, and economic activity, the drivers like a 10x. So you're looking at multi-billions of dollars of, of economic activity as a result of it. And these are up and down the supply chain from the manufacturers, the suppliers, uh, the actual contractors, uh, and, and the like. As we go into other communities, we should be able to cross the billion dollar threshold in a matter of months. And, and that can scale up into the multi-billions across the United States, but it's also a template that we plan to take to other countries. And in fact, Wagreen is off to China now at the invitation of the Chinese government to bring that mechanism and model to China.